Hi everyone, welcome to Conduct Vision Talks. Leadership is a much discussed topic in business, but what do leaders in other industries think about it? Looking for answers, I reached out to Mr. Andreas Weiser, a renowned music conductor. He has worked as music director of the Prague State Opera, principal conductor of the Jena Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted numerous orchestras worldwide, and collaborated with other famous musicians. I was sure Mr. Weiser would be the right person to discuss leadership from a whole new perspective. Mr. Weiser, at Conduct Vision, we take the example of the music conductor as an inspiration and metaphor for leadership for business leaders and leaders in other industries. What do you, as a conductor, think of this parallel? I think it's a very clever idea, very, very good, uh, good, uh, good idea. Um, even if on the first view between music and business, there's no connection. But the bridge could be Stravinsky, because uh, once he told, or well, he said, um, I prefer to speak with a banker about music and with a musician about money. So there is some connection between these two worlds. And uh, concerning leadership, I think, um, of course, conducting is a very direct form of lead leading an orchestra, leading people. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, they're, they are working the same mechanisms uh, as in a, in a company, I can imagine, I think. And uh, if you conduct, of course, you see your first association would be the concert, the performance. But uh, that's only one aspect. The other aspect is the, are the rehearsals, uh, because uh, we prepare every performance with, a, with an orchestra. And there are working these mechanisms of leadership much more clear, much clearer than, uh, than during the performance. Okay, yes, it's interesting that, for example, how much I know from the business world, uh, rehearsal is not exactly a known uh, thing there. Like, they yeah. go immediately to performance. So, uh, so that's a good point. Uh, what would you say, what does a conductor actually do? Well, the work of a conductor has um, many steps. Uh, the first step is a very good preparation at home because... Uh, you should know the music better than all people in the orchestra, of course. And you have to create your own vision, your own uh, idea about the final sound, how it should be. That's mm -hmm. the first point. Um, probably that it's comparable also with some point of work of a, of a leader of a big company, because also he, I suppose, he, he should be prepared for, for his work. Uh, the next step is, as I mentioned, uh, the rehearsal with your orchestra. And uh, there's very important the character of the orchestra and the character of the personality of the conductor. Mm -hmm. That is a very big, uh, had a very big influence on the, also on the way how the communication take, takes place and at least at or the last uh, step, uh, how, how the orchestra is led by, by, by the conductor. Um, I think uh, for the conductor, it's very important to create an atmosphere of uh, trust, of, of uh, respect, and of team spirit, uh, because in, in nowadays it's not possible uh, just to to give orders. It is it is not not really the way how how, how works leadership. You have to convince the people. You have the uh, to to show the respect. There are very high qualified musicians in the orchestras, and uh, who am I to tell them you have to play it like that? I'm also a musician, of course, and I try to find the best way. Um, but the, the point is to convince the people that uh, it, the, the best leadership is that the people don't realize that they are led, that they, it is just naturally that they feel the same thing like me. Mm -hmm. And the next step is a very good orchestra has an own character and they offer something. And it's also important to give the people the, 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 the feeling that I appreciate if they offer something. They are don't they are they, they don't know uh, they, they don't wait only for for orders from the conductor. It is a, a, a really a teamwork, and at the end should be a interpretation, which is also influenced by the orchestra, so that every part of this production orchestra conductor um, has its own its own part in, in in this production. That is for me the the big the the the, the point for music leadership. It's not that. I have to, to force them to do what I want. They have to feel free 
And to agree with that, what I would like to, of course, my, my, my goal is to convince the people pr mm -hmm. playing like I want. Uh, but the best is that they want to play it like I want that they, they play. That is, I think, that's, the, that's the, the main thing of a conductor. Of course, there are also technical aspects. You have to, to, to if, if you play the music in a performance, uh, you have to show in advance what will be. You have to prepare the, the direction because we are responsible for the tempo, for, for the dynamics, for, for, for such things. And that is also always uh, uh, very important to show what is coming, what is in front of us. And then to be in the moment when we are playing and then also to control. Play mm -hmm. they technically good, well, or is it necessary to react on the result and to improve uh, the result. <clears throat> so that is the, the, the way of leading in, 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 in during the performance, uh, to be at, in the same moment at this three moments or three time points uh, of, of a performance. That is quite complex. Um, I hope it's clear what I, want, what, what, what I wanted to express. Ah, uh, yes, for sure. And I, actually, I guess that's where also the challenges lie. Yeah, of, of course, because, um, that is one of the points why mostly conductors are after the concert still quite crazy, but then very tired <laughs> because it's very exhausting or can be exhausting. Yeah, true, <clears throat> true. Uh, one question. Uh, how, um, what for you is the main aspect of performance? Because I think this would be for people in other industries, whereas we mentioned earlier, it's all about performance. What do you regard as the key element for a successful performance? The best way is uh, if you, if the, although the base of a successful performance is the good preparation, uh, there in, in, and during the rehearsals we prepare more or less the technical aspects of playing mm -hmm. tempo dynamics uh, to play together and such such mm -hmm. these things that mustn't be a problem during the performance, of course, and the the, the base what you create during the rehearsals is uh, that you have the freedom just to follow your inspiration. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the idea of, of, about the performance. But technically is uh, just to, to, to give the orchestra the security, the, 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 I'm, I'm sure, I know what I want. They can rely on me, they can, because they, they get what they want, what they need. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, I know that they can follow me because we are well prepared. And, um, uh, for for me, the key point of a, is a, of in the question if a, a performance is successful or not is the reaction of the audience, but not the applause. That is a bit superficial. But I I am glad or I am I am satisfied if I listen that people go leave the concert hall with a feeling to be a bit enriched, to get new ideas, new things, new feelings. That is the point what we are working on. So. Would you say that um, is it uh, for musicians and for yourself, for musicians, it's all about performance? Or how, what really do you, is for you important in the work that you do? Uh, it's difficult to say. Um, of course, the music, what you have, it is written. Mm -hmm. We have the music, we have the scores, um, but it's not yet the music. That's just the base. The music has to be played, has to be realized. So in this point of view, mm -hmm. of course, it's all, of, uh, all about performance. But uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, just to, to perform, to play a role, if you mean performance in, in, in this way, that can't work. When I, when I conduct an orchestra, I can't play a role before the, in, in front of the orchestra. I can't play... Uh, that I know the piece, or I'm the strongest, or I'm the best, that I can't play because they feel imme immediately if it's true or not. Uh, I need the respect of the people, the, uh, and this this respect I have to earn or to to uh, uh, I have to 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 work for this respect. And uh, at the end, of course, the goal is always a good, a good performance, but the way how to get there. It's totally different. It's not not a play or, or not a, as a musician, conductor or soloist player, uh, you have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to be honest during the rehearsals and also on the stage. That is also a very, very important point. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a wonderful way actually to conclude is be yourself. And I think for everybody in all um, industries, fields of work.
So, Mr. Weiser, many thanks for sharing insightful uh, thoughts from the world of music, so which I believe all our viewers will enjoy and benefit from. Thank you for the invitation and good luck for your project. Very interesting. Okay, thank, thank you. you.